friends welcome to physics class with another topic of refraction so in previous class we discuss laws of refraction so now we discuss refractive index do you mean by refractive index when light goes into a new medium the speed of light get reduced how much the speed of light reduce that factor is known as refractive index that means here we compare the ratio of speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in a medium and that is known as absolute refractive index it may be represented by mu or n but in air or vacuum that speed of light is nearly equal so in vacuum or air that refractive index is equals to 1 now we details analysis on it here we compare the velocity of light in any medium to the velocity of light in air medium or vacuum this is known as absolute refractive index so what do we mean by absolute refractive index refractive index is equals to velocity of light in vacuum to the velocity of light in any medium and that is represented by c by d that d is the velocity of light in any medium and c is the velocity of light in vacuum this is known as absolute refractive index that means here that velocity of light in a that is equals to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and velocity of light in glass medium that is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so what is the absolute refractive index that absolute refractive index absolute refractive index for glass medium for glass medium is equals to c by d that is equals to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second that is equals to 10 to the power 8 cancel 3 by 2 that is 1.5 so your 1.5 is the refractive index of glass okay that refractive index of glass that is 1.5 okay likewise in case of water that refractive index that is 1.33 in case of ice that refractive index 1.31 in case of diamond that refractive index 2.4 likewise okay students now go to relative refractive index so in case of relative refractive index is nothing but the ratio of refractive index of second medium with respect to the refractive index of first medium and it is defined as for relative refractive index is defined as the ratio of velocity of light in first medium to the velocity of light velocity of light in second medium that means here we consider that first medium that is refractive index mu1 and velocity is taken as v1 as that first medium is rarer medium or denser medium here we don't know about what which one is the rarer medium and which one is the denser medium but you take that first medium having velocity v1 and refractive index mu1 and in case of second medium that refractive index mu2 and here that velocity of light that is v2 that the ratio of refractive index of second medium to the first medium is defined as the ratio of velocity of light in first medium to the velocity of light in second 
second medium that is mu2 by mu1 equals to so mu2 by mu1 is also represented as mu21 also it is represented as mu21 that is mu2 by mu1 that means it's your refractive index of second medium with respect to first refractive index of second medium with respect to first in some book your students uh, that refractive index is represented by like this form okay and also in this form okay and here also refractive index is represented in some book this is mu21 and here in some books that is mu21 okay and as that is mu12 then what do you mean by this refractive index of first medium with respect to the refractive index of second medium okay students so now we elaborately discuss about this formula okay first students mu is we know that mu equals to c by b so what do you mean by mu1 v1 equals to the ratio of velocity of light in vacuum to the velocity of light in first medium v equals to c by v okay so v1 equals to c by v1 that means here we consider that first medium having velocity v1 then what is the refractive index v1 we compare the velocity of light in vacuum to the velocity of light in this medium so we determine the velocity the refractive index of this medium mu1 equals to c by v1 next mu2 equals to c by v2 now here we take the ratio of velocity of light in vacuum to the velocity of light in this medium so that we determine the refractive index of second medium that is mu2 equals to c by v2 then put here that is mu2 by mu1 that means mu2 you put that the value c by v2 then mu1 that is c by v1 so here c c cancel we got v1 by v2 v1 what do you mean by v1 velocity of light in first medium what do you mean by v2 velocity of light in second medium so you clear that is mu2 by mu1 equals to v1 by v2 okay students now refractive index in terms of wavelength we know the students that frequency equals to c by lambda okay frequency equals to mu equals to c by lambda so what do you mean by c that c equals to mu lambda then what do you mean by v1 acha what do you mean by c the c is the velocity of light in vacuum now what do you mean by v1 that v1 equals to mu into lambda 1 and what do you mean by v2 that is mu into lambda 2 okay so here lambda 1 that is the wavelength of light in first medium and what is lambda 2 that is the wavelength of light in second medium so put the value v1 and v2 in this equation so you got mu lambda 1 by mu lambda 2 so mu nu here cancel then we got mu 2 1 equals to mu2 by mu1 equals to v1 by v2 equals to lambda1 by lambda2 so student here you remember another two important point two important points one is as light passes from one medium to another medium the frequency of the light remain constant there is no change in frequency no change in frequency of light first point and the second one the refractive index the refractive index is always dimension less dimension less quantity because it is the ratio of two similar quantities it is the ratio of two similar quantities so refractive index is always in dimension less quantity okay that means refractive index have no dimension and no limit okay now we go to discuss some examples now example 2 calculate the frequency and wavelength of light here calculate the frequency 
MC and wavelength of light. You determine both. Wavelength of light in a medium having refractive index 1.6. In a medium, you determine the wavelength and frequency where that refractive index that is 1.6. And the wavelength of light In a medium that is equal to 6400 angstrom. That wavelength of light in air medium that is 6400 angstrom. Take us here that air medium was the first medium. Air medium was the first medium. And here that wavelength lambda 1 equals to 6400 angstrom. You determine the wavelength in second medium. Okay? And here, in second medium, that refractive index mu equals to 1.6. Okay, student? Okay, student, what is the refractive index of the air medium? That refractive index of the air medium, that mu equals to C by B. Refractive index for air medium, that mu equals to C by B. We know that the velocity of light in the cube, that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And also velocity of light in air medium, that is also 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, for A medium, that refractive index mu equals to 1. Okay? You remember this one. In the air medium, that refractive index mu equals to 1. Now, and that second medium, that refractive index mu 2. Now, we know that mu 2 by mu 1 equals to lambda 1 by lambda 2. Put the value. Mu2 that is 1.6, mu1 that is equals to 1, lambda1 one, that is 6400 uh, 0, 0 Armstrong and lambda2, you calculate this value. What's up here? 1 Armstrong that is equals to 10 to the power minus 10 meter. So here this one equals to 6400 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter divided by lambda2. What is the value of lambda2? That lambda2 equals to... 6400 into 10 to the power minus 10 divided by 1.6 and you calculate this one. Okay, next. And what is the frequency? The frequency is same for first medium and also second medium. There is no change in frequency. So first one, we determine frequency in that first medium. So also we calculate know about the frequency in case of second medium. So what do we mean by frequency? That mu equals to C by lambda. We know that C, that velocity of light in vacuum or in air medium that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and in air medium that wavelength of light is given that is 6400 angstrom or 6400 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter. You simplify this one. So you determine the frequency of air medium and that frequency is same for the second medium also. Two example in the first one angle of incident equals to 30 degree you determine angle of refraction where mu1 equals to root 2 and mu2 equals to 1 and the second example your angle of incident is 60 degree first medium having refractive index mu1 and second medium having refractive index root 3 you determine angle of refraction. So, here students, we know that mu1 sin i is equals to mu2 sin r. Okay, mu1 that is root 2, then sin i, i that is 30 degree equals to mu2 that is 1 into sin r. Okay, you put the value of sin 30 here and you determine sin r. Likewise, here we know that mu1 sin i by mu is equals to mu2 sin r and put the value also you determine r. What is the value of r? You write down in comment box. So here what is the value of r? So here sin 30 that is half root 2 into half that is 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 equals to sin r. So, sin r equals to 1 by root 2. Then, what is the value of sin? That 
is equals to 1 by root 2. That is sin r is equals to sin, sin 1 by root 2. That is sin 45 degree equals to 1 by root 2. So, r equals to 45 degree. Okay, student.